Greetings metalheads, I'm George and this is No Nonsense Metal Reviews and today I'm going to be showing off a couple of my latest finds, little heavy relics if you like. These particular items, they are two albums that I really do hold very dear. They are, they are two of my favourite black metal albums. They are synonymous, if you like, with that early embryonic maybe just just coming about finding they're still finding its footings if you like that very young black metal scene the second wave of black metal um, certainly very prevalent in Norway around the early 90s late 80s early 90s so these two items in question these are cassettes and I believe that they are both uh, one of a very limited run of 200 made worldwide which sounds like nothing to me but the items in question are the debut album from Norway's Immortal this is Diabolical Full Moon Mysticism which I do love certainly love enough to have on a rather nice long sleeve which I'm very pleased with and the second album from 1993 this is Pure Holocaust so 1992 1993 Two very, very important albums in, uh, in black metal, in the second wave of black metal. This album was released in the same year that uh, Dark Throne released their A Blaze in the Northern Sky album. This was also released, Pure Holocaust was released in 1993, of course the same year that Dark Throne released Under a Funeral Moon. Now, I would explain the comparison to Dark Throne there, because not just they're because they are both Norwegian second wave of black metal bands, but they mirror the progression of one another. Of course, Dark Throne did beat Immortal to the post, if you like. They did release uh, Blaze in the Northern Sky, probably the first outright second wave of black metal album. I know that's entirely open to interpretation and there's lots of different feelings about what is technically the first black metal album or second wave of black metal album I should say but even though it's just a few months behind there is there is certain similarities that you can hear in both of those albums you certainly can in this um, this tape here which I do have both of these albums on CD I should mention I just saw them it was a limited run and I, I couldn't help myself but these albums this album in particular Diabolical Full Moon Mysticism it has that very very infant uh, black metal, second wave black metal sound it the scene was still finding its feet it was still establishing itself and it didn't sound like what it does now and it doesn't so it didn't sound like um it was going to in a couple of years time even a year's time the difference between these two albums is is quite enormous there is quite a startling difference so we'll have a little look at this lovely article, the first piece here. Um, I will just mention that these two tapes came from a, uh, a really cool um, independent store, a uh, Shopify account that I stumbled across entitled Cult Never Dies. Uh, they've got tons and tons of awesome, rare, cool things on there. So no doubt they will be getting lots more of my money over the coming months and years. Um, so a little bit of promotion for those guys. Really, really awesome. Absolutely love these. These have little slip cases in them. So it is a cassette within a slip case. The slip case has an alternative art. Of course, this is the original art uh, on the shirt and also shown on the insert of the tape here. I'll just get that out to show you without the glare of the case. So that's the original art. And then we've got this different artwork on the outer slipcase which is still really cool and there's some back art there uh, I've certainly never seen a cassette with a slipcase so this is a first and I have steadily been building my cassette collection but why you may ask well strangely enough there seems to be a lot of tape reissues coming about um, at the minute or over the last few years where you can get albums on tape that you can't get on CD and you can get things on tape that are significantly less, if you like, than the vinyl or the CD. 
So cool little insert here. Uh, I should mention this is out on Osmos Records, I believe they're based in France. Um, not entirely sure, I have to look into them further. But absolutely lovely little piece here. But what is really cool is that the tape itself, this old school article is red and it's lovely. It's really nice. <laughs> it looks the part, it's really cool. Love it. I love the fact that it's not just side A and B, you've got Eternal Frost side and Ceremonial Crypt side. Really, really cool. And like I say, I really do like these albums. This one in particular, I love how, how youthful it sounds, how young in the scene. It does sound bleak, it does sound dark, there is a heaviness there, but there's not the kind of raw, really scratchy sound that we get um, typically in black metal a little bit later on, nor is it really poorly produced, which was desirable in the scene as well, certainly latterly. But we get some great tracks. We've got The Call of the Winter Moon. I also love the title tracks on these albums as well. But just great black metal. Very much still clinging on, if you like, to, um, to the, the traces and the sounds of the first wave of black metal with bands like Venom. And then, of course, the bands that were pre-second wave. So not quite first wave, but pre-second wave. So bands like uh, Bulldozer or Root, if you like. So there's, there's elements of those sorts of styles and sounds as well. Cryptic Winterstorms, a great one. I really do love the very epic closing lengthy track on this album, A uh, Perfect Vision of the Rising Northland, which is great. And also we've got Cold Winds of Funeral Dust and Blacker Than Darkness. So we've got some great early black metal material. Just as good, in my opinion, as what we were getting from the Mighty Dark Throne with A Blaze in the Northern Sky. I just feel that this is a, a really good album. It's just enjoyable, but it's not so raw and cult that it's almost a little bit um, generic, you could say. So no, this is definitely a unique piece. So we'll fast forward to 1993 then with the release of the second album, Pure Holocaust, which here again, um, Osmos have released in a nice slipcase. Really interesting bit of artwork going on there. Not really sure what's going on there, but I think a bath. A bath is looking pretty grim. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. He's looking very grim here. So we don't get an alternative art on this one. It is the same art um, on the cover as it is on the slipcase. But again, we've got this rather nice insert with the lyrics, both sides there. Uh, I should mention the uh, the lineup in the band, of course. This is the legendary duo, if you like, of a bath or a bath doom occulter here on bass and vocals, and then Demonaz doom occulter on guitars. Uh, Demonaz, who obviously subsequently left the band for a very long time due to severe tendonitis. Um, but has latterly returned as pretty much the sole member of um, Immortal. Although he was there for many years in the background, if you like, writing and um, contributing ideas and, and making behind the scenes differences. Uh, he obviously was not an active participant in the music, but now he is doing pretty much everything, bar the drumming. Um, Absolutely love this album though. I think that there is such a difference as I've said a few times There is such a difference in terms of the sound and the style this this really does mirror under a funeral moon with that much rawer, much colder bleaker production and sound Absolutely cracking songs here though. This is what I would consider to be really quite typical um, early second wave black metal um, once it had really started to, to flourish and it found its feet. Really, really good material. Really enjoy this album. Um, right up there with, like I say, Under a Funeral Moon. Unsilent Storms in the Northern Abyss. Great track. A sign for the Nor Norse hordes to ride. Love these titles. They're absolutely brilliant. Frozen by Ice Winds. Storming through Red Clouds and Holocaust Winds. Sounds like a poem. Eternal Years on the Path to the Cemetery Gates, and of course the title track, 
Pure Holocaust. Absolutely brilliant stuff. If you like raw black metal, then this is this is quite a high point in that scene for that scene. And it sounds great. It's just really enjoyable. Both these albums aren't particularly long. They're just over half an hour long um, in total, I believe, running time. Not overly long at all. Just brilliant black metal. Really good stuff. Great um, vocal work. The riffs are really scratchy and bleak. Of course, there's a difference uh, in sound between these two albums and certainly a difference in tempo and pace. Pure Holocaust is a much faster, more unrelenting caustic and abrasive effort to what the relatively relatively mid-paced, mid-tempo um, sounds and stylings of the first album, Diabolical Full Moon Mysticism, but both are great and they're really nice. And if you do happen to see on whatever distributor or web store, or maybe you're lucky enough to actually have like a physical record store, I know, what a crazy idea that would be, uh, to actually be able to go in and look at the physical items rather than having to do it all online, then snap these up if you see them because they are really rare, really limited, and also they're just really freaking cool. Really nice things to have. I would certainly recommend checking out these albums if you are not familiar with them. They are really, really good, really enjoyable. Certainly, if you like Dark Throne, if you like Mayhem, if you like Bathory or the, the first wave of black metal bands, then there's definitely going to be elements of diabolical full moon mysticism that you'll be able to appreciate and enjoy. But just check them out. They're just great albums and snap them up if you see them on tape. So there you have it, my uh, brief review of the Immortal uh, reissue tapes that we've got here. Really nice pieces. Really proud of stumbling upon these ones, I must say. Has anyone else got themselves a copy? Are you coveting them just as I am? I'm interested to hear thoughts and opinions on these albums and on tapes and reissues and all sorts, whatever. Share your thoughts and feelings. Absolutely fine by me. Thank you very much for watching, my friends. Do feel free to like and subscribe. You can also follow the No Nonsense Metal Reviews page on Facebook as well now. Thanks for uh, watching. Check back soon for more reviews and recommendations of all the good heavy things. Take care, my friends, and stay heavy.